if you've noticed, but uh, campaign finance is on everybody's lips. Uh, well, not absolutely everybody's lips, but it's very much in the political conversation today. Absolutely. And that wasn't the case 10, 15 years ago. Right. There were a lot of dedicated people uh, who stuck with it, mm -hmm. um, uh, saw their efforts uh, succeed and then fail in Massachusetts. There were the first great victory for public financing of campaigns was in Massachusetts, and uh, a few years later, in the in the dead of night on a Christmas Eve, I think it died a horrible death. Right. Um, so when you've won, you haven't won permanently, and all of that kind of struggle has been discouraging. But if you had a map of the United States today and you put a pin everywhere where campaign finance and election reform was going on right now, mm -hmm. there would be a, a mass of little flags right. everywhere. It's, it's really changing. And one thing that was very striking, I drove up here yesterday to be here, mm -hmm. um, and I was listening to the radio, I was stuck in traffic, there was a tr terrible Snowstorm yeah, the snowstorm. Oh, yeah. it's awful. So I was, I had no companion but the radio, and I was listening to a news program, and somebody was interviewing some, a, a gentleman from New Hampshire about my age, and who are you going to vote for? Donald Trump. Why did you choose him? Well, because I think the campaign finance system is terribly, it's in terrible shape and badly needs reform and he's self-funded. Right. The first issue, the primary reason for picking a candidate is that. So it's, it's a different world yeah. and I think there's reason for hope. Uh, I, I